you know, a lot of VTubers use this as a tag on their Twitch streams, but I'm not quite sure that I can see the appeal here. Sub gamers, welcome back to some more regularly scheduled Dead by Daylight content. Today, we're going to be playing Prestige 3 on the Hag. Now, you might be wondering why Prestige 3 on the Hag, why this killer over things like Cenobite or Blight or any of those other ones. And the reason is that I actually really wanted to get access to the Hex perks that the Hag offers as the three unique perks for herself. So that's why I got Prestige 3 and that's what we're going to be playing in today's video. Uh, and before I actually go into talking about the perks and everything, the channel, by the time that this probably even finishes recording, has hit 500 subscribers, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for everyone who has shown up to watch my Dead by Daylight shenanigans. It's been a real pleasure seeing you all here. Without further ado, let's get back into talking about what our build is for today. First off, we're starting off with Grim Embrace. Every single time that we hook a survivor, all generators will be blocked for 12 seconds, and then once we hook the last survivor, all generators with them blocked for 40 seconds, and we see the aura of our obsession for six seconds, unless they have distortion, of course. After that, we have deadlock. The entity blocks the generator with most progress for 30 seconds after a generator is completed, so it helps slow down the game a little bit. We have hex, no one escapes death. When the exegates are powered, our basic attacks will down people in one hit, and we get 6% or 4% haste, excuse me, for the duration that the hex stays up and then finally sloppy butcher we inflict hemorrhage and mangled for 90 seconds so healing progression is lost if it's not being held down continually and mangled makes it so that healing is progressed 25 percent slower so really the hag is based around a lot of m1 attacks and that's what we're trying to do with these latter two perks here and the other two perks in grim embrace and deadlock help us with slowing the game down a little bit by blocking off generators and giving us time to set up and also giving us information on where we should be setting up for add-ons we're going to have the bloody mud which decreases our trigger range of our traps by 30 percent and the swamp orchid necklet which increases the trap setting speed by 20 percent and of course, just a blood point offering. And that is all I have to say about this killer in the pre-game lobby. So let's go ahead and jump into the games and see how we do. Alrighty, the Sanctum of Wrath on the Yamaoka Estate. Now you may be wondering as well, like why am I not recording any footage for the likes of the PTB that is released today? Of course, you probably saw the little effect of the bonus blood points that we get for this event and all of that, but why, why am I not recording anything for the PTB? Well, to be quite honest with you, the PTB intimidates me a little bit. Uh, and the other, the like part of that is the fact that killer cues just take forever in the PTB. It is Honestly, kind of insane. They're not on this channel. They're over on this side. Damn, I wasn't even looking. Oh, wait, there's Scratchies. Hello there. What are we doing? Let's play games. Come on. Let's, let's get going. I don't know what's happening here. I'm going to put a trap down. Oh, she's just running this way. Okay, got it. <clears throat> they might have been, like, trying to meet up with each other. There's someone working on this still, I think. Yeah, there is. Well, oh, I thought I saw somebody there. Frick, man. Uh, Let's put a trap... Oh no, I've lost everyone. Sorry, so the killer cues take forever, which is kind of obnoxious, to be honest with you. Um, and on top of that, oh, oh, can I take that? Can I take that teleport? And on top of that, uh, if I do play killer cues, I obviously don't want to play the new killer the full time. I want to play some Vec, or I don't want to play Vecna the full time. I want to play some Death Slinger, because what the fuck was that? Um, because of the changes that were made to Slinger and all, right? And so if I'm... Hold on. I uh, he holds the check spot. Okay, let's go over here. Because we know they're on this generator. It's been a couple days as well since I've played last. Fong's here. Ah, uh, she goes for the pallet. Fair enough. There she is. No, she doesn't go for the pallet. She just holds W away from it. Alright. Down we go. Hello there. <clears throat> I guess I don't reset the uh, sloppy butcher hit there, but this does give me a pretty decent hook now. Right next to this generator, too. Plus, so I can remember race, so that would be pretty good for me. I think they might be knowledgeable of my traps here as well. And that's my obsession hooked as well, which is nice. Because they are, like, crouching over them and uh, walking slow. So this might be a pretty bad match for me. Oh, Bill just dropped down here on the right. I heard him. Or did he? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not entirely certain. Let's put a trap here. Just for the fun of it. Uh, 
They know that I trapped up this area, but I don't think they know about that one there. I should have uh, M1 that immediately. Okay. Wait, that, I won't get that? That's crazy. Whatever. Pretty good uh, ping then, I would say. Okay, let's put a trap here. We have a trap here by this pallet, but that's quite okay. Uh, let's block him off from it. He's just holding W this way. That's fair. That's reasonable. They might get a generator done here pretty quickly. Did, what, did I ever finish my spiel about about what I feel on in terms of the uh, PTB? Uh, good moon walks, but he drops that. Yeah, fair enough. All right, kick this. And let's get the hell out of here. He might walk into that trap. No, he won't. Oh, go. He's he just has windows opportunity, so he's. Well, oh yeah. Not quite getting it. Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, spi I'm spinning my camera around, and I really shouldn't be. Probably making a lot of you nauseous. Uh, let's just leave. Let's just leave, and we'll go for this generator because we know this one had a lot of progress previously. Put a trap down. Oh, never mind. We'll hit you there. I was really tempted as well to like swap the build up for one that had um, uh, Franklin's on it, but. What the? Are you just in here? Okay, that was interesting. I think he uh, jumped into the locker because he saw me on the teleport there. That's pretty funny. We have basement though. He doesn't have boil over, so we can just go woo, up and over. And yeah, we lose the generator, but that's fine. We have time to get this. Just enough time. Up we go. And that'll be quite difficult for him to handle. But yeah, PTB, and then um, because I would obviously want to test the uh, the Slinger buffs, I would want to play Slinger, but then people disconnect against people that aren't playing the new killer because they want to see the new killer. They don't want to see Slinger gameplay. And so you just, it's a, it's a dichotomous issue, right? Like on one hand, you want to be able to uh, play all the stuff. Oh, I can't TP to that, that's sad. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm out of range. Big map, but that's okay. Hopefully I intimidated him off of it enough. Let's see. Does she go? Nope. Another Windows Opportunity user. Good lord. I think. I'll have to check. I'll have to check after this uh, game's done. Oh, do you go left here? You do. Yeah, there we go. We set that up way earlier. Oh, we'll grab this. That's another hook for me. Very nice. Unfortunately, all my traps are down now. And I like. I want to be able to play Slinger, but, uh, you know, it's just not going to friggin' happen. It never does. So that's why I'm not playing PTB. That's why I'm not like on any of the, the new stuff here. I think they just walked out of basement. I saw you out of the core of my eye, girly. Dwight's there too. He's my last Grim stack, but also Grim and Deadlock, two perks that we're using today, are getting nerfed in the next patch, but I'm actually okay with that. What? Oh my god, I hate that. Oh, I freaking hate that so much. I hate I hate that so very much. Bill's there, but they don't have any uh, flashlights. Unless uh, Dwight got one out of a um, out of a chest. We saw in the pregame lobby that they had three medkits. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I'm just gonna kick this then. <clears throat> That's the case. A trap here and one here. Kind of redundant, but it's okay. And let's go up to main as well, because I know Bill was working on that earlier. Bill's Bill's pretty wise to the way that Hag plays, and not exactly like the most engaging killer, right? Like, definitely kind of falls into these very similar gameplay loop traps. Like the thing that what what does Hag do, right? Like Hag M1s you and teleports to. What are you all doing here? I'm not gonna go for her in case she has like decides to strike. I think she has off the record actually. I can't hear her at all. Yeah, she has off the record. I'm going for the Dwight. Um, yeah, off the record on the, uh, on the phone. So let's just go for Dwight here, who's... I think... I'm, okay, interesting decision. I'm just gonna wait for that. Give my last Grim stack, and then kill the Fong as well, if I can. And down we go. I don't think I've been playing this particularly well. I think, like, out of all the killers that I've played so far, this is the one that will test my ability, just, like, as a killer player in general, you know? And, uh, because of that... Oh, she's going for the unhook here. Okay. Easy peasy. Very nice. Up you go. You're dead. <clears throat> Grab you. 
I don't know. I've, I've been kind of half commentating, I guess, the whole way through. I've not been doing a whole lot. Dwight is out of there. I don't know if this person was trying to give up or like trying to go for body blocks with um with dead heart or something, but all the gens are now blocked for 40 seconds and we can put oh Bill wait, Dwight's here. What's he doing here? What are we doing? Are we giving up? Are we giving up against a a hag with sloppy butcher and Grim Embrace? I guess so. I have like Grim Embrace and Deadlock, which I, I guess is like two things of slowdown, but I wasn't sure what the rule book said about having Deadlock and Grim Embrace. Like it's not the most difficult thing. I see his scratch marks going this way too, so I know he's going for the unhook. Like, yeah. Was the... I wonder if the Fong actually had Iron Will instead. Because she wasn't making a whole lot of noise, right? Oh, right, well that's... Nice, I guess. Doesn't matter to me. I reset the timer on, uh... Yeah, two, three, four, five, and an extra second, just in case. Like, I saw that... I saw that medkit disappear. You can't hide it from me. I know that Dwight's right there, but I don't care at this point, because we're already at four gens. We'll go ahead and even hook everyone, you know, the usual. Be a little bit kind about it, right? <clears throat> and because he touched this gen, that means that... Where is he? Off of my left? Or did he... Oh, he did go on my left and then walked around back here. Okay, I understand. Well, everyone's death hook here. Uh... Put a red light that way. Uh, we're not exactly tall enough to make a difference here. This person has a dead art as well. She ran to us earlier with it. Here, let's spade it out. All right. Maybe not. I don't know, maybe she was thinking she could hide in the reeds here or in the bamboo, but we seem to have gotten ourselves another, another person out the game. And then there's a crow over here. So we see the Dweet. Hello, Dwight. Dwight might be new as well, considering his sh movement and everything. So I saw you, buddy. I saw you get up here into my arms. Come on, people like hags, right? You know, VTubers. It's not so bad, though. And this one's regressing, too, still. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see if they have an offering for hatch. They don't. They have a couple of secret offerings, but no hatch offerings. No idea where Bill is, though. Woo. Hatch was not on main. Could be back on this hill over here as well. I, I, can't, I said, like, oh, I need to stop doing those uh, 360s, but I'm going to go off and do another one. Uh, it could be Shaq, then. Shaq is over here. Oh, it's not. And Bill's here, though. He was looking for the hatch here. He's up this way. There he is. He could actually get get to a shack in time or uh, the hatch in time. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Nicely done. Good games, fellas. So let's look at the bills that we have as well, and then we'll go into our next match. Also, a lot of blood points because of the event that's going on for the eighth year anniversary. So Dwight had no perks whatsoever. Bill was doing adept bill. So congrats on getting adept bill. Fong did have off the record, but it was uh, green tier, or she, for some reason, got... Well, I was right about that. She was playing it really aggressively, so we kind of read into her having a couple of anti-tunnel things to work with there, and I just wasn't buying into it at all. And Sable had botany knowledge will make it desperate measures and bonds, so they were really trying to heal people up. But the perkless Dwight is quite interesting. Maybe it was like one of their first games, and they unfortunately had to go against me, but that's quite all right. So that'll end match number one. We'll go ahead into our customary match number two. All right, my gamers, we're back on Grim Pantry yet again. I feel like I get this map quite often. I have no idea why, but, uh, you know, the hag's natural habitat, the backwater swamp. Go ahead and place a trap there. Whoops. And probably like one more here, right at the base of the dock, just in case they come over this way. Just a little bit of setup, a little bit of place and traps. Uh, for anyone who's confused as to how the hag's power works, she places traps on the ground, which are those little triangle things that you see there. And then when a survivor walks into the range, they activate them, little, you know, specter jumps out at them. And then I can teleport to the trap that was triggered if I'm within a certain range of it. I don't know the range myself, but uh, it is 
indeed a range of some kind. Oh, she went out this way. Very interesting. Holding, choosing to hold W away from all of this. I mean, I guess like there is this palette and main is kind of a bitch and a half to play. Holy, at least we have that one window there. He's not even playing any of these pallets. Oh, did you have, yeah, we'll break this pretty good. But already some decent progress on them. Generators as well. This person is moving really fast though. Holy. Look at that. Look at that person go. Damn. I'm gonna get you. She gets this pallet though. Oh, wait, no. She just holds W away from it. That's fine. We get Bloodlust. Get her down. Early down, I guess? I don't know. Not exactly like the most engaging down though. Because, you know, I guess I held W at her. and <laughs> did not really work out too well. Unfortunately... Swamp, notorious for having like the most dog shit <laughs> gener or hook placements. Do I get to kick this in time? I do. Nice. Kick that for a little bit of regression. I guess it was only 5% completed anyway, but I got to kick people off of this. And because there's so much grass in here too, it's going to be hard to see uh, these traps of mine. A lot of progress on this. Grab this. I could place traps around the people that I've hooked as well, but eh, no, no point really. I don't want to play like the campy play style, you know, that doesn't seem very fun. But I guess like when you're playing hag, you take what, what you can get, right? Are you healing under hook? No. Okay. Well, it was worth a look. Anybody up here? Any gamers? No gamers. That blood trail was just kind of there, I guess. All right. Visual clarity. Very nice. Love it in my video game. <laughs> Sorry. That's that's me being uh, salty. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know why that did. I had no reason to. Hey, Sable, how's it going, girly? Nope. I'm going to body block her away from getting into... Um... I'm not going to teleport for that one because, you know, I've got a chase here. Uh, but I'm going to body block her from being able to go into that uh, location there. She does hold W and vaults that. She's on the backside here. I mean, she's kind of playing this correctly. I'm going to put one here. So I can chase her around the backside here. Bonk. And use that as a way to block her off. So that's two down. We also... I, I noticed that uh, we got the uh first down onto our obsession again so that's really good that means that Grim Embrace will get some value later on that's gonna block as soon as I get to it right yeah that's fine place a trap down here they completed one gen it was the sable who did it you can like crouch by me there let's put a trap in here in the grass we're putting a lot of traps down it is possible that this is like a a gens before friends type crew I kick this and put a trap here I think that these people are just like walking away as soon as they hear my terror radius so and crouching everywhere if it's like urban evasion I think urban evasion is probably the most effective counter that they have to me here but wow yeah they just up and dipped uh I don't think we kicked this earlier but you know always worth uh looking around, seeing where people are. Sloppy Butcher is also slowing down those heels, so they are taking more time on the heels, which is good. I do want to keep an eye out for whoever's on this gen, because I don't know who it might be. I want to put a trap here, too, on the bottom of the dock. Okay, so I think they're on this far gen then, yeah? have to. They have to be. This is a super strange game. Oh, I think I saw, like, a pixel of somebody there. No, they're not here. What? So they're just crouch walking onto the gen? That's pretty... Pretty interesting. Okay. Where are these gamers? There they are. Hey, bud. So you did break my trap there. It's pretty interesting. Well, there's the Jake, at least. We can put a trap here as well in this corner, in case we chase him around the backside here again. And... Wow, he just camps it. Okay, kick it. Oh, I thought he was closer. Oh, wait, he, he walked back into me. <laughs> That's really funny. We actually got a good hit there. 
What? Oh, that was supposed to look toward. What? Wait, what? Where did I teleport to? Oh, no. That is. Well, that is mad upsetting. This is a, an adept Jake or a Jake with. um, With. Uh, what the fuck is happening? Okay. This is like a Jake with um, iron will because I could not hear him at all. And I think he has calm spirit, too, because he didn't scream when we hit him there. I'm so lost, gamer. I mean, I can just do this, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know what the play was there. I think the play was to leave as soon as I started kicking that, but apparently not. So this is a good hook here because it's kind of off in the distance, and they triggered, like, so many traps in that time. That gen by Shaq is going to complete, but that's whatever. Gonna put a little trap here. I feel I feel so out of it, dudes. I don't know <laughs> what's going on in this game. Yeah, they hit that. That's fair. And that generator over there is the one with the most progress. Let's put something here. Oh, take it, take it, take it. Please, please, please. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? I mean, we do have um, Noah in the end here. Avoid that stun. Very nice. Take that. Yeah. They get the unhook back here. But this building here doesn't have anything in it. Let's go see if I can interrupt this uh, heal. Oh, wait. No, now I'm just on the wrong side of the <laughs> wrong side of the map. I think I saw someone there. I don't know, dude. This this game's been weird. I'm used to playing, of course, like because Slinger is the killer that I've played the most. I'm used to being able to uh, see over things. But with the hag being... So freaking low to the ground. Hey, Sable, how's it going, girly? Uh, let's put a trap here. And we had a weird... Oh, she went this way. Okay. And then... Possibly into... Yeah. Camp the pallet. Camp the pallet. Good play, good play, good play. Uh, might be on that gen here or there, but... We'll see. How they play this. Vaults it. Vaults it. Nice. Can't get it with a medium ball. Uh, let's go check this gen, actually. Because I think that... Because there was all of this... Action happening here. Hello there, buddy. I guess I'm not, like, doing a whole lot to make myself unpredictable, huh? Oh, that sucks. He's gonna run into that. Oh, he's not. Because of the decreased uh, range. We actually get that hit. But... I am be able to do too much more. Oh, my gosh. Am I rubber banding? He jumps off the backside here. Now he's just sitting on that pallet. Fuck it. I gotta leave. <clears throat> I'm in too dangerous of a position right now for this game. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But I mean, like, at least I didn't get the down on the Jake there, because they have no idea that I have no head now. Hey, girly. Hi. I can get a kill at least onto the uh, Zarina. And I can hit the Sable here, too, because I'm fast. Very nice. Let's get the uh, Sable out first. Or not out, but like up first. Are you on that gate? No. No, you're not. Now let's go get the Zarina real quick. He's back here somewhere. There's Dwight. I haven't seen Dwight literally all game today, but that's fine. I can actually camp this out and kill if need be. Let's do that. Because it's endgame, right? So they won't be able to heal here. I think this Jake also has Iron Will. Because we've heard him quite a few times now. <laughs> and I don't get anti-camp in the endgame. Plus the Zarina is like walking back towards him, I'm pretty sure. Like crawling back towards him. So, a lot of traps around. I hypothetically won't be able to go for the unhook here. Hypothetically. Uh, let's go kill the Zarina though. Okay, cool. If we can, if we can find her. I have no idea where the Zarina went, actually. We saw her, like, crawling down here. And now she's just, uh, evaded me completely. There you are. Wait, you're inside there. What the fuck are you doing there, bud? Oh, wait, he's completely cornered, though, on these exits. Yeah. Cool. All right, well. Down he goes. In a corner of the map. All right, I'm not picking you up. Uh, because I have no hooks because it is backwater swamp. Is Dwight back here still? No. Where did I down Dwight at? Do you have unbreaks? 
where where is the where is everyone i can't pick up jake yet because you know i don't have a hook for him but i have no idea where everyone else went hey <laughs> if you don't want to get slugged at least let me fucking find you holy smokes is arena in here yes she is oh she found my <laughs> she found my totem too that's really funny and put you up on a hook over here now the dwight is the next one that i don't know about up we go did you go in this corner maybe ah you did you sure did hey buddy all right well um jake is somewhere he's in this corner i think i actually have a hook nearby here there's the funny thing let's see let's find out oh uh, uh, i mean i'll have a little bit of movement speed but i don't make that hook ever yeah that's the crows letting me know that hey the dwight's afk hey i'm pick him up all right up you okay i have no idea where the uh hooks are but like i find it funny that you know when i'm trying to go for these sort of late game things uh cause, here look where's my nearest hook to here is like that one i think i don't know dude but if if you don't want to get slugged then why would you go to a, a corner like this you know it's like oh maybe to give me a, you know what <laughs> maybe to give me a chance of escape at the end of the game but nah i think we just have to let him go here because like my nearest hook is all the way back here that's my nearest hook to that corner so i don't know if you don't want to get slugged don't go into corners and don't like m move your position because obviously you're not gonna be able to escape either way oh that's unfortunate i don't like how that game ended up at all not at all my favorite way of playing the game but that is how prestige 3 hag is going to go uh let me know what you guys want to see in the next video and i'll make sure to check it out check out your builds and everything but thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed here are the builds by the way jake did have calm spirit but he had bite the or reactive healing strength of chest so it was just calm spirit i don't know why i didn't hear him then otherwise but that was a an interesting game all the same so thanks for watching take care and goodbye